Hello and welcome to Ivy Moves. My name is Ivona and today we're having a beautiful relaxing practice to melt away the day and release everything that won't serve us. So when you're ready, meet me on your bed. Let's start in a comfortable cross-legged seated position. If you feel like your bum is sunken too low into the mattress and you don't like it, grab a pillow, sit on it, elevate your hips and find a spot where we can remain still for a few moments. Gently closing your eyes or looking somewhere towards the blanket or the mattress. Placing the hands comfortably in your lap, on your thighs, or on your knees. Taking a few moments to intentionally enter in this practice. Feeling the wave of your sitting bones towards the softness under you the warmth of your palms wherever they make contact with the, uh, the rest of the body straightening the spine towards the sky puffing the chest proud open and light and we will begin with a short breathing practice an exercise that allows the nervous system to relax and to intentionally release all the events of today that will not serve us tomorrow. We will be breathing in on the count of four and out on the count of six. If this is not comfortable for you, try to find any space where the exhale will be longer than the inhale. It is through these sides that we really release all that is tense in the physical and mental body. So when you're ready, without counting, just take a deep breath in, feeling the belly and the lungs all the way to the collarbones, and loudly exhale through the mouth, ah, sighing it out. And let's begin in, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, five, six, in, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, five, six, in, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, five, six, in, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, five, six, last, in, three, four, out, two, three, four, five, six, take a deep breath in, and then through the mouth, exhale, release the shoulders, staying with your eyes closed, or gently opening if you would like to follow me visually. And let's start with cat and cow through the upper body, puffing the chest up and squeezing the shoulder blades back, stretching that front side of the chest and the body, maybe sending the chin towards the sky, and exhale, rounding in, chin towards the chest, the shoulders curling and open the shoulder blades in. A couple more times in your own pace, using your hands on your knees as a lever to pull yourself back and front and maybe once you find the position when your chest is forward start making circles by moving towards the right with the shoulders towards the back 
and towards the left, creating more movement into the spine. Go as fast as you or as slow as you need to feel how the weight of your sitting bones shifts with every circle and finding the other direction maybe signing the movement with your breath breathing in forward and breathing out when going back and finding center sending the hands towards the sky and twisting towards the right left hand on the outside of the right knee using it as a lever anchoring the hips to look forward and look as far as comfortably behind without causing discomfort in your neck mm -hmm. now the left hand is gonna remain where it is and the right hand is gonna start reaching towards the left making an arch a long right side of the body heavy in your right hip and actively pulling with the right hand away from it taking a deep breath in into this right side of the rib cage pulling yourself a little bit further and exhaling filing the center maybe closing your eyes for a moment if they're not closed already and feeling the subtle differences between the left and the side body and switching directions hands up towards the sky twisting towards the left right palm on the outside of the left knee left hand somewhere behind us to serve as an anchor moving with the shoulders and stable through the hips and now that left hand is going to reach towards the right heavy left hip and active left hand getting as long as comfortably rotating the chest towards the sky and finding center beautiful now get your feet in front of you in a butterfly position grabbing the ankles with each palm and start puffing your chest forward leaning forward try to keep the spine straight and maybe use each elbow to push the knees a little bit towards the bed creating some opening into the inner hips the groin inner thighs try to go forward not lower Push actively with the elbows if they are on your knees. Maybe start moving with the rib cage a little bit, finding angles that you may like. And now, up with the body, right palm on the inside of the right knee, pushing the knee away from your left hand somewhere behind you and twisting towards the left, looking above that left shoulder, very actively pushing with the right hand, the right knee away from you. Coming back to center, switching side, left palm on the left knee. Turn towards the right, look behind that right shoulder. Push, open the groin, stretch the spine. And coming back to center. For the next move, I'm going to remove the pillow. You can decide how you wanna make it. Stretching the right leg away from us left foot is on the inside of the right thigh hands up and leaning towards the right leg while still facing the front of you so the chest is really opening up the same logic as the side body stretch but this time we're stretching the leg the right hand has maybe found the right foot and it pulls you closer to you but don't compromise the rotation towards the sky and now everything's gonna remain the same, only the torso and the upper body are gonna shift towards the right leg. I'm going to lean on top of it, flexing the right toe, sending the right heel far and stretching the back chain of the leg. Hmm. 
slowly getting up and shifting sides right foot on the inside of the left leg hands up and sideways really rotate the chest up and only then try to go closer to the left leg maybe the left palm has found a lever around the foot the ankle or the calf to pull you closer to that leg very long right body and slowly rotating the torso towards that left leg and forward fold again try to guide the crown towards the left foot not towards the knee so forward that way <sighs> And slowly getting up. Perfect. Now for the next move, we have a couple of options. Extending the legs in front of us, right knee towards the chest and crossing it on top of the left knee. So right knees on top of the left knee. If this is comfortable for you, you stay here. If you'd like, you bend that left foot closer to the right glute, but try to feel both sitting bones on the bed. And now we're going to send the right leg towards the sky bend elbow towards the sky and either the left hand is going to guide it closer to that space between the um, uh, scapulas or the left hand is going to face back and try to meet the right hand behind stay wherever you're comfortable you have a lot of options here and if you search for a little bit more sensation leaning forward keeping the spine straight maybe engaging the feet to increase the sensations on the outer hips mm, working all these key joints of the hips and the shoulders in this one pose generating heat and blood flow that will allow the whole body to really relax to breathe easily one last breath in here and exhale getting up slowly first release the hands and the feet first the bottom leg if you had both and then the bring that right knee towards the chest changing sides left knee towards the chest crossing it on top of the right knee if you have um, empty spots here you can also grab a t-shirt and cushion the space between the knees I'm going to bend that left knee and bring the foot closer to my hip and here left hand is going to go towards the sky bending the elbow facing up the left palm chases the space between the shoulder blades the right palm faces back if comfortable and finds the left behind breathing deep here maybe smiling it's an intense but delicious pose and if comfortable, slowly leaning forward, engaging in both feet by flexing them to protect the joints and engage the muscles, which also helps activate a little bit more into that stretch. Hmm. and slowly first raising the torso releasing the arms releasing the bottom leg and then the top leg shaking it out beautiful a couple last stretches with a pillow we're going to place the pillow between our thighs knees calf sitting on the on the heels i'm gonna move a little bit forward so we can have space behind we're going to start stretching the front side of the body palms or fingers are facing towards you pressing the palms on the bed behind you and sending the chest forward if this is comfortable enough and you'd like to testify maybe send the hips up squeezing the glutes and going as far as comfortable in the knees maybe allowing the head to hang heavy behind you but only if comfortable and keep actively pushing through the hands and the glutes and 
and releasing first the tush and then the hands and then we're going to find a comfortable position with the knees the wider they are it would be easier for the knee maybe sending the feet on the outside of the hips and slowly starting pressing the, the knees towards the bed I'm gonna lie down completely. But if, if you're only pulling around that leg, please back off. We're here to relax and feel good and not to punish our body. Beautiful. Slowly starting to get up. Removing the pillow from under our tush and preparing for one last asana before the final relaxation. Feet in front of you, just a very simple forward fold, hands towards the sky, leaning forward, grabbing wherever comfortable onto the legs and curling the chin towards the chest, allowing the place between the scapulas to open. The head is hanging heavy. You can be as active or as passive here as you would like. Another option is to sneak the palms and the forearms under the knees, grab the opposite elbows and really bring your body closer to the knees. And as the knees push the forearms away from the shoulders, we we'll really open that place between the scapulas around the upper spine that maybe has felt stiff from standing straight all day. You can stay here for as long as you would like or start moving towards final relaxation. You can just lie on your bed or if your bed allows, standing the feet up the wall Bring your tush as close as possible to that wall. Feet up, hands wherever comfortable. And allow yourself to sink heavy into the mattress. Your eyes are maybe closed. Feeling how the blood has started moving and rushing through your body, nourishing all the cells of this physical body, maybe feeling the breath deeper, calmer, lighter, relaxing the forehead, the eyes, the temples, the tongue and the jaw, releasing the neck, collarbones, shoulders, melting the chest, feeling the arms heavy. Relaxing into the back, upper, middle, lower. Relaxing the belly. Sinking into the hips. Melting the thighs, the knees, the calves. Softening into the ankles and the feet and let's take three exhales three sides to release all that won't serve us anymore taking a deep breath in and exhale out through the mouth feeling 
fresher, lighter. Two more, take a deep breath in. And loud exhale, seeing how the tension leaves your body. And one last deep breath in. And the strongest, loudest exhale, melting into complete relaxation. Stay here for as long as you like. And I'll see you next time. Have a good night.